So we are recording to the cloud, which is amazing. So like I said, today is Thursday. It's the new week. So make sure that you guys have your business activity trackers printed out, ready to rock for this week, whatever you use to, to move your business forward. This is a fresh start. If you've ever been looking for your Monday, today's the day. This is, the, this is our Beachbody Monday. This is where we can go and grow from. So tonight, I am so excited and honored. Um, we have Ms. Shauna Blunt speaking on our call tonight. Um, she is on freaking fire. And I am so excited to hear from her, um, take all of the notes. And I literally remember, like, seeing her name kind of, like, pop up on social media. And it was just like oh she was like a one star diamond coach and then all of a sudden she's like boom i am nine star i am one star in my second cbc i'm crushing elite and i'm taking like canada by storm right now and it has been the most incredible thing to watch and i think the most beautiful part about it is sean is not like a brand new coach who just like freaking took off right off the hop. Very similar stories where you get to pick your start date in this business. And like I've always preached to you guys, there's two start dates to your business. There's the day you sign up and the day you decide to go all in. So we are so excited. I am going to, well, first out, take out my notepad and and girl, you have the floor. Speak as long as you want to. I am honestly so excited for you and to hear everything. <laughs> Thank you. Um, please let me know if I cut out. My internet's being a little bit weird. I was just on a call and I guess I was cutting out a little bit. So please let me know. Um, so excited to be here. Please feel free to ask questions throughout. I will answer them after. Um, thank you so much for having me, Brittany. I'm super excited to chat with you guys tonight. So I will kind of introduce myself. So my name is Shauna. I am 25 and I am from a small town called Blenheim, Ontario. Very, very small town. Um, and currently I am, I work for the school board. So I'm a supply staff for kindergarten classrooms um, and I coach, but as of right now, coaching full time um, since schools were closed. And it's been an awesome way to take off my business and see where it could take me. So like she said, I started coaching four years ago. So when I started coaching, I like, people don't think this now, but I was so like terrified of putting myself out there. I was so shy. And like, that's something that I really needed to grow through because like public speaking, like anything to do with like talking on my stories or like anything like that, like that freaked me out a lot. Um, and so it took me a long time to really just like put myself out there. And I was such an introvert, like coaching has helped me so much with like speaking and like talking to people because I was such a shy, like introverted person um, that I never thought coaching would ever take off for me because I never thought I had that leadership in me. So when I first started coaching, I hit Emerald right away because my coach was pretty much like hit Emerald, um, hit success club and then hit diamond. And I was like, okay, like, <laughs> okay. Um, so I hit diamond within four months of my business and then I stayed there. I stayed at diamond for probably two years, two and a half ish years. Um, because I didn't really know like how to be a leader. I didn't know how to lead a team. I didn't believe that I could lead a team. I'm going to talk a lot about belief today. Um, I didn't believe that I could be successful because I'm from a small town, because I'm shy, because of all of these things, because I'm young. Um, when I first started, I was 21. So like I was a baby. I didn't know anything like to do with business. I didn't know anything about, like I was a student, I was working. So I didn't really know how to balance. And so it took me a while to actually believe like I could do this and build this as a business for myself and for my future. Um, and so it wasn't it. So last year of January of 2019, I was a diamond coach, like no diamonds under me, just a diamond with two emeralds. And now to think where we are with a nine star diamond team, my coach is five star. My second CBC is one star. Like it's crazy to think where you can actually go with a couple years of pouring that belief into yourself, but also into your team. Um, and so I'm going to share with you guys, like some of my tips that I had to work through some of the tips that I had to help my team with, because 
I didn't have the belief. So for the longest time, my team didn't, right? Like I didn't really pour that into them that we could achieve this huge thing called elite or this huge thing called five-star diamond. Like forever I wrote down five-star diamond. I am a five-star diamond coach. I wanted to be a five-star diamond coach so bad. Um, I just really looked up to that and I knew that's where the income potential was going to be. Um, I wrote it down, but I didn't really put in the work to get there. So I think what really helped our team was the energy. I brought in the energy. I finally started to believe in myself. And I was like, Hey, if I start to believe in myself, my team will start to believe in themselves. And there's thing, this thing called momentum. So when you see momentum in your team and other people see other people hitting diamond or people see hitting emerald, that's where that energy comes through your team. And then that's where you're going to see success throughout everyone else. Because when you see other people hitting ranks and you see other people hitting all these things, you're like, oh my gosh, if they can do it, I can do it. Um, so I started really just pouring that belief into my team and showing them that they can totally do this if they put the work in and actually believe that they can achieve this. But there's this thing that we do as people for a reason, because so all of us think we have these, these negative mindsets, right? We have this negative mindset of, I can't do this because I have three kids. The person that hits diamond, that has diamond, they don't have three kids. So I won't be able to, because I have three kids or um, I'm, I'm busy. Like I, I work full time. That person that hit diamond doesn't hit full time or it doesn't work full time, but I work full time. So I won't be able to do that. Or everyone's saying no to me. Or um, like you have all of these like things in your head that the reason why you can't achieve these goals and that's actually why you're not achieving these goals. You're literally building this wall in front of you. Like picture a wall in front of you. You're building that up in front of you because you have all of these excuses in the back of your head, which is normal. Like it's human. Like we all have these excuses in our head, right? Like we all believe, like we have reasons why we can't believe to, we can achieve these goals, but you need to feel those negative emotions, acknowledge that they're there and throw them away. You need to break down that wall by yourself, by taking action to achieve your goals. Um, I just kind of wanted to share with you some things I've been through in the business. Um, but reasons why I've been able to get past them. And I'm, the reason why I want to share this with you is because in the business, you're going to go through some stuff. Like that's just how it is. That's how life is. But you need to know that there's going to be reasons why you want to push past this and why you want to continue to keep going because you have that why. You have that why that you want to reach for, whether it's maybe you want to take your family to Disney. Maybe you want to pay off your student loans. Maybe it's because you really just want to help your mom out at home or you want to, you know, retire a husband, whatever your why is, you need to have that always in the back of your head when you're going through these things in life, because you are going to go through things in life. That's just how it is. But I want you to know that you can push past it because you are strong enough. So when I first started coaching, I didn't have a lot of support. Um, I had a lot of people in my hometown judging me. Um, and it just like really affected me because I was the type of person that whatever someone said about me, I believed. Um, so that was like right off the bat when I started coaching and I could have let that bother me, but I kept going. When I first started coaching, I had somebody, um, in the hospital because they had a really bad brain injury and that really affected me. I like was depressed and anxious and whatever, and I could have let that affect my business, but I kept going. You need to make sure you have that why in the back of your head of why you really want this business to work for you because you'll be able to push past these things that you go through. You're strong enough to go through it and you're strong enough to build this business if you keep going. So I want you to know that success and hitting success club and achieving these goals, it's not a strategy. It's really just in your heart. And I know that sounds a little bit weird, but it's true. You really need to have that, that heart into like why you want this to work for you. Because if you don't, then you'll just, you'll either just coast kind of like I did or you'll quit. Um, so I kind of wanted to share with you what um, I heard this from top coaches and how they push past this. And I wanted to share it with you guys too. So maybe you're somebody that doesn't have a supportive spouse or somebody that doesn't support you. Neither did Melanie Mitro. 
and we all know where she's at. She pushed past that. You're too busy. Jamie Innes worked five jobs before she started coaching and now she's a million dollar earner with Beachbody. You're not at your dream body yet. Neither was Ashley Molstad, and she's been number one in the company for how many years, right? Um, introverted. So is Amy Silverman. We all know where she's at, and I'm sorry if you don't know these coaches, but they're just people that like I look up to, and they're just like super awesome. Um, and another thing a lot of people say is, I don't have enough followers, you know, like I just don't have enough followers, like I can't build my business. So there was this girl that spoke on a team call. She signed up January 31st of this year and she had, I believe 700 followers and she achieved two star diamond qualifying by April. So there's, you can literally achieve anything you set your mind to if you have the belief that you can actually do it when you're taking action. So it's really just your job to break down that wall of those excuses that you kind of have sitting there. And I want you to break that wall down. I want you to write down things that you've struggled with, whether it's family, whether it's business, whether it's anything that you've really struggled with. And I want you to write those down. And now that you think about those things that you've struggled with, you've got through it, right? It's something that you've gone through. It's something that, yeah, it was hard, but you did it. But why is it so hard to send invites? Why is it so hard to put yourself out there and talk on social media? Why is it so hard to do a post or invite to coaching or do a sneak peek when you've literally been through so many hard things in your life that you know you can, could get past? You know you can send the invites. You know you can move your business forward. It's just you have to have the belief to keep going. Um, I'm going to also share with you my top tips on basically um, what you can do to keep moving your business forward. So number one, discipline. That is something that I needed to learn when I was a student and working and having a boyfriend and having family and having social life. I didn't really know how to balance, but I knew that business was important. I just didn't really know how to like put business into my schedule. And I think I needed to treat my business like a business. So I needed to set like time aside so that I could continue to move my business forward. So whether that was early in the morning at 4 a.m. before I went to teach um, in kindergarten, whether that was right when I got home because I knew if I didn't do it as soon as I got home, I would just procrastinate and not do it at all. So making a schedule and being disciplined to actually putting in the work during the times that I had time was really helpful for me. So on Sundays, I still do this. Like even when I work, um, when school's coming back, I'm still gonna be a supply. Um, so I need to still make sure that I'm gonna make time for my business because if I don't, it's just gonna crumble. So being disciplined, whether it's no Netflix one night, no social hour one night, whatever it is that you need to maybe cancel or you need to maybe make sure that you continue to show up for your business, you need to be disciplined. Another thing that I've found super helpful for me is having a partner, whether it's someone on the team, whether it's one of my PS coaches, um, me and my PS coach Shelby, we've partnered together because she's a runner. She's somebody that like, I don't even, she's literally ran like crazy. And it's been helpful for me because I'm like, okay, I need to like run with you. I need to catch up to you. So you need to be partnered with someone that's going to push you, that holds you accountable. So whether it's someone that's also pushing for diamond or whatever you're pushing for, kind of someone that's similar to where you're at, I think someone that helps like keep you accountable um, is going to help you like stay accountable to whether you're checking in with your business activity tracker or having that healthy competition with each other um, has been like a game changer for me. Um, so if you don't have a success partner or even just a friend to like check in with, I think you should totally get one. Um, because then you can plan together and whatever, like it's super awesome to have that for the business. Um, another thing too is you need to sign everyone up as a discount coach and have the, like, you need to talk to people like it's the best option that there is. So when I first started, I was like, 
yeah, I'm going to sign you up as a customer. Like I was so afraid for some reason to sign everyone up as coaches. And I was, that's the reason why, another reason why I coasted for so long is because I was so afraid of signing people up as coaches. I don't know why, like they get a 25% discount. They get like discounts on the products. Like they get VIP access to early, like access to programs. I sign up every single person as a discount coach. And if you're not doing that right now, I highly suggest that you do because that's how you're going to build your business. Um, and I want you to write down. Okay. So on months, like for, for instance, I always find the month of August. I don't know why I struggle in the month of August with signing people up and it's discouraging and I get super like frustrated, but I ask myself these questions on months that I'm struggling or months that nobody wants to join me. Um, and I ask myself these questions and I tell my coaches to ask them these questions. Um, and so it's actually been helpful for me and it's been like creating the momentum back in our team. So number one, am I sending 30 plus invites daily? Um, depending on what type of invites you send, like personally, like if you're a new coach, I'd say anywhere from 20 to 30 invites. Um, or if you do more, that's amazing. But for me, I like to send 50 to a hundred daily, um, like Monday to Friday, but like, ask yourself, are you actually doing that? Are you actually reaching out to people, um, and, and inviting them to what you have to offer? And another thing, do you know what you're inviting to? Like, are you just inviting just to invite? Or are you inviting them to like Monday, August 24th boot camp? Or are you inviting to September boot camp? Um, make sure you have a plan to what you're inviting your customers or your potential customers to so that you know what you're talking about when they ask more questions about it. Um, another thing too is with inviting, you can invite in so many different ways, whether it's in your Instagram stories, doing polls, whether it's in your actual post with a call to action or private messages. So there's so many different ways you can invite and you can do it in all three. So whether like some people run their business on Facebook, I personally don't, I don't know why my, like my, my market's not on there. So I run all of my business on Instagram, but there's so many different ways you can invite. So I always ask myself, like, am I inviting in every single way that I can? Um, Number two, am I being a product of the product? Am I doing the program? Am I showing my results? Am I showing my client's results or my coach's results? Um, am I actually drinking my shake every day? Am I actually following the nutrition program? Um, I know that sounds like, I already know that I need to be a product of the product, Shauna. Like, why are you telling me this? But like, this is actually the like key to your business is being a product of the product because if you're or not, then your customers or people that are following you aren't going to believe that these programs actually work. So you need to show them how much you love the programs, how much you love the community and like literally talk about it. Like you talk about, I don't know, whatever you like to talk about it, whether it's clothes or your family, like that's how you have to talk about the business and coaching. Number three, am I creating FOMO? This is something I used to struggle with. I didn't really know how to like create FOMO. I didn't really know how to share that on social media, but now I'm like, I make sure I have a list of people of girls' names that are signing up. I make sure that I'm showing what the actual boot camp looks like of people checking in. I make sure I'm showing um, transformation photos or like any type of success um, story in the challenge group. Um, creating FOMO, you can do that in many ways, not just the boot camp. It could be even showing that you're on a team call tonight sharing your community with your coat with your coaching team like sharing that you're getting together with your team anything that you think would make you have fomo i share so i remember when i like before i was coaching my coach would share like her team call nights and like anything like that and i was like oh that looks fun but i'm not gonna ask to coach because i was like too scared right so just make sure you're sharing things that you think would create fomo for other people that are watching you um, number four, am I completing my business activity tracker? And I know you probably, again, you probably hear this all the time, but are you actually doing the things like focus time on each thing on that business activity tracker? There's a reason why they made that. There's a reason why they put that out there and for every other coach to use. Um, are you actually doing those things like with focus time? 
So for me, I never used to do personal development. So I was like, I don't need that. Like, I don't know. I don't need to read a book, but like that will actually help you so much in so many different ways and make sure you're choosing a personal development book that suits you where you're at in your lifestyle right now. So if you're somebody who wants to build a team, look up leadership books. If you're somebody that is like afraid, look up like this is literally my favorite book. I'll show you guys. Fear is my homeboy. Amazing book for somebody that's afraid to put themselves out there. Like I would read it over and over again. Um, my favorite leadership book was from Josh Coates. One of my favorite leadership books. There's so many out there. Another awesome book is The Slight Edge. Like I could go on forever, but make sure you're reading personal development books that are like in the season of your life right now, not just a book to read and say, I did that. You know what I mean? So make sure you're actually being intentional with it. Um, being consistent, number five. So this is something, again, I used to struggle with. I didn't really know how to be consistent in all ways. So when coaches say be consistent, they mean be consistent by showing up in your stories, by showing up in your feed, by talking to people, um, by really doing anything that the business activity tracker says, make sure you're being consistent with all of those things. Because even though right now it doesn't feel like it's doing anything, trust me, it is. And it's moving your business forward, whether it's a small step or not, it's moving it forward. Um, Number six, are you being creative or adding value? So whether that's being creative. So maybe you need to do a giveaway. Giveaways are amazing because it puts so many eyes on your page. And that's another way that you can have people try your product. So I did a giveaway of like collagen, hydrate, um, some of my favorite books. And so many people were interested because they see me like enjoying these products every single day. And then that way you can invite those people later on because you know that they love the products that you do or they want to try the products that you take. So make sure you're trying giveaways. Make sure you're doing Instagram TVs or now the reels. Like that's cool. I just tried that the other day and I was like, this is fun. And it gets new eyes on your page. Like new people were liking that that I never even invited before. So make sure you're like putting yourself out there, trying new things um, and adding value to people. So that might not even be like anything to do with Beachbody, anything to do with coaching. Maybe it's just like you're helping people create a routine or you're talking about um, how you do your hairstyle, like anything that relates to you, you can like create that in your Instagram or Facebook or however you run your business. And I left this for last because I find a lot of people hold back on this, especially as new coaches. And I think as soon as you're a new coach, you need to jump on this. And that is coaching sneak peeks. Um, I held back on coaching sneak peeks for so long because I was like, I don't like, I'm, I don't have experience or like, I don't know how to do that. Team up with your upline, team up with anyone on the team. Like I get my coaches to just write in the team page and be like, Hey guys, like I've never ran a coach sneak peek before, but I really want to run one. Um, you learn as you go, right? It might not be perfect the first time, but once you get the hang of it, once you do different ones, you'll end up loving it. Like I love planning coach sneak peeks. Um, and I personally haven't found like the best coach sneak peek to like keep doing. I just keep doing different ones. Um, so whether that's a webinar or like a Facebook group, um, there's so many different ways you can do them. Kind of just see what works for you and your audience, but make sure you're doing that every single month because if you're not recruiting, then your business isn't growing. You want to keep bringing in new people every single month so that you can continue to have that momentum with your business. Um, so yeah, those were kind of my tips and like kind of like the self-assessment quiz that I have with myself and then that my team has too. But I just want you guys to know that you're actually so capable of so much more and you need to just break down that wall because you're building up a wall and you don't even realize it, but you're building up a wall in front of you because you have these fears or like excuses for yourself that you think are like the actual reason why you're not seeing success but there's so many coaches out there that have been through what you've been through or that like it are in the season that you're in and they've been able to achieve it. So I hope that was helpful. Um, do you guys have any questions at all? 
That was amazing. I have a ton of notes and guys, I think like Shauna nailed it on the head. Like I've had, this is my crazy, this is my fifth summer as a beach body coach, my fifth August. And I've always noticed, fun fact for you to plan in the future, August as Canadian coaches is a very quiet month. And I think it's because July, yeah. everybody's like, it's summer. And then August, everybody is like, oh my God, we need to relax because September is next month. So we need to get everything in right now. Yeah. So now for like future planning, get all your goals done in July. Get all of that stuff done and realize that like, hey, when you do hit all of your income goals, when you hit those big goals that you have for yourself, guess what? You too get to put your butt in the sand in, uh, at the lake or wherever you're going, because like, that's the, that's the end goal, right? So you get to have that freedom, get your, your bare minimums and push for goals in August. But guys, that's what happens. So just, that's a little preface for next year coming up. But I think the cool part is, is I have literally a sticky note that sits right above my desk that says belief comes from doing. And we can sit here with those walls of stories. We all have those stories that we tell ourselves of why we can't achieve these goals, why we can't hit success club, why we're not good enough. So-and-so is better than me. Yada, yada, yada. I'm stuck. I need to get my shit together. Like we all have those stories. Mm -hmm. And literally the only thing you guys need to do is sit down and check off the boxes. That's it. If you're feeling overwhelmed, if you are nervous, if you feel like, oh my goodness, my business hasn't moved in four years, just start checking it off every single day. And there was a quote I heard earlier this week and it said, if there is one thing that you know that is going to drastically change your business, one activity, it's going to drastically change your business for the next 10 years. I want you to spend one extra hour doing it for the rest of the year. It was Brennan Bouchard. And I was like, Hmm, what if sure I get my business activity tracker done, but if I spent one hour on invites every single day for the rest of the year, like guys, that's legacy building right there. It's not doing anything crazy. It's just that little, little extra mile, right? Like you can sit there and do the same thing that you've been doing, but man, if you go that extra mile, especially in a time like this and a year like this where Beachbody is exploding mm -hmm. and that's incredible. So if you guys have questions, I know probably some of you do, I would love for you guys to unmute yourself and ask because like we have the queen here. So please, please do or type them out. Nobody? Anybody? Okay, so yeah. <laughs> I, knew you were I think every call I go on, I find a moment to speak. So this has just been an absolute treat. I just made a post, this is so embarrassing, that I'm taking the night off to relax because I've been busting my ass all week. And then Shannon uh, quickly threw in a group chat and then I saw Brittany's post and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm not messing around here. So. Um, I don't really have a question. It's just everything you said is just, I, you were just speaking my love language and it's so, I've been a, I'm, I'm an, a bit of an OG. So I've been into the fitness industry my entire life. Brittany knows this. And these are all the same things. Um, I just shared this in a small group chat we had yesterday that yep. when I ran a business, like I ran a physical gym. And I had no problem, and I ran boot camps. I had no problem inviting people to that, like zero, because it was somehow mine, just mine. And just in the last probably two months, I have, and I've been a coach for three years, and in the last two months, I realized, oh, this is my baby. This is not beach bodies. And so I had to make that shift because yeah. it felt weird. And I was looking at like, it was Facebook memories popping up that kept saying like, come to my boot camp. I had no freaking problem inviting everybody. I had no problem telling people I owned a gym, but for some reason we get weirded out when we say yep. this word. And 
it's really, I, I'm just sitting here almost ready to throw up. I'm so excited because I just know that I'll be able to share this with more people and you sharing what you just shared there. I'm just like, yeah, notes like crazy. Awesome. And it is, I, I think that would be not really a question, but um, I guess a question for you, Shauna, is, um, you know, I will tell my coaches, like, I'll, I believe in you. I, I, I believe in challenge. I believe in freaking the neighbor. Like I believe in everybody <laughs> just until they see the light for themselves. My yeah. children are the same way. I just do. I have freaking so much. And yet I guess where I struggle is like, am I getting through to that person? Yeah. Like, do I just keep pouring it and just keep? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So like, yeah, it took a couple of my coaches a little bit longer than others, but what I did, um, so after NLC, uh, we learned about a diamond dash and Brittany spoke in ours. Um, and that's where like our team, like literally blew up, but there were so many coaches in there that I was like, I need to like bring my team together. So I brought them into this like, um, messenger chat. I sent them like a voice note and I don't know why, but I had this feeling this was, I think we were th four star or something at the time. And I said, I think we can hit seven star. Like I just have this feeling that we could pull this together and just, just like achieve this together. And everyone's like, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. And like, everyone was just kind of like that energy was there. Um, I don't know if it was the month or like everyone being at home with COVID or like, I don't even know, but it was just insane. And then nine star happened. And I was like, well, I think it's cause I had that, like, I don't not wasn't just me, but, um, I think it, it's because I poured that into them that they could achieve it and that we were achieving it together as a team. Yeah. So today we had a big thing happen. We, we, uh, hit two star qual like we're just qualifying, like just, oh gosh, just today exciting. and the energy building up because I involved every coach and I explained what their roles are. Yeah. But even the girl that hasn't signed up anyone yet, she still plays a role. And I really have poured that into not just my team, but my, even my challengers. I went live in our page today and freaking dropped it on them pride. I was so freaking proud of the fact that they believed in me to sign up with me at some point. And so, um, just continuing with that, but the momentum just today, like a girl hit Emerald, another girl hit Emerald to make all this yeah. happen. And then some of the girls that are like two or three years in going, what the hell was that? And I'm like, it's anyways, I, I it's contagious. I, yeah, it just is. I'm going to stop talking though because I just love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. That's a good thing. I love it. Well, congrats. That's exciting. Amazing, you guys. And Shauna, I just want to thank you so much for your time. And guys, that was the coolest part was being a part of like creeping into their, their Diamond Dash group. And it was literally seeing, like you literally saw the momentum shift. Mm -hmm. And guess what? It starts with you and then you hit that next person and then it becomes this huge domino effect. And then the thing is, you guys, is we get, we get excited. We have those ahas. We get off a team call and we're like, we're fired up. And then Monday comes and then we're kind of stuck again. And how you get fired up again is you read that vision every single day. So when you get off this call, when you get off of these moments and you have those ahas, that's when you go and write out your vision, your clarity statements. You go write those out and literally read them every single morning because that's going to prime you to show up and get those invites out again. So Shauna, this was amazing. I loved how just simple you bring the business and how really easy it is, but really identifying that we all have those walls and knowing like, Hey, guess what? Despite all obstacles, you can still make it happen. You've lived through so much other stuff that somebody saying no on Instagram is no big deal. So thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it guys. I'll have this recording up ASAP and we just want to thank you so much, Shauna and Keep crushing it for the rest of the year. You're going to do amazing things. And yeah, we're so proud of you. You too, guys. <laughs> See you guys. See ya.